In this video, I want to go through a CFA level one exam style question on the coefficient of variation, a very useful, often examined measure of relative dispersion. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, please keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the question that I want us to have a go at. The following information is provided about the performance of three investment portfolios, A, B, and C. And we've got um, a mean return, so the average return, and a measure of dispersion, so standard deviation of returns. Which of the three portfolios is the most preferred based on the coefficient of variation? Okay, so as I said, this is a measure of relative dispersion. And the way we um, express it, the way we quantify it is very simple. We take the standard deviation of uh, returns for a portfolio and divide by the mean return. So X bar. And that's um, as simple as that. S, the standard deviation of, you know, of returns divided by the mean return. That's X bar. And uh, obviously we want to pick the one which has the lowest dispersion of volatility relative to its uh, mean value. Unlike with other measures, you're not going to pick the highest one, but lowest one. So pick portfolio with um, lowest uh, CV coefficient of variation. Okay, let's do this for uh, all the all three portfolios, A, B, and C. So for A, we're going to have three and a half uh, percent. That's the standard deviation divided by the mean return, which is 7.6. And um, let's see what that gives on the calculator. 3.5 divided by 7.6. Okay, 0. 0.46. And note, please, that because we've got a percent percentage here and a percentage in the denominator, what we've got is a measure which is free of units. It's not expressed in any specific unit. For B, I'm going to have 21.4 divided by 18.4. Okay. And this is one point, uh, let's, let's see, 21.4 divided by 18.4. Okay, this is 1.16. And for C, it's going to be one and a half divided by 4.7. Obviously, let's have the units everywhere. So 1.5 divided by 4.7. Okay, I'm looking at um, approximately 0 0.32. So I guess picking the portfolio with the lowest CV would mean uh, choosing this, this one, wouldn't it? And it's, uh, it's going to be answer C over here. So um, portfolio C.